Com locações estonteantes e cenários de primeira, a origem é um banquete para os olhos. O curioso é que, apesar de abordar o universo dos sonhos, tudo o que se vê na tela é bem real. Isso porque o comando do filme está nas mãos de Christopher Nolan, diretor que segue na contramão de Hollywood ao preferir tratar a tecnologia como coadjuvante a serviço dos atores e do filme. It was very important to me that we, we do as much as possible in camera. I always prefer to try and shoot absolutely as much as possible for real and then use technology to enhance that or change that in some ways. There was very little green screen on this on this movie. I mean, when a, a, a scene had to be tilted because in another state of reality there was some sort of gravity shift, he would put the, the entire set on hydraulics and shift that entire bar. The entire set would be shifting and things would be kind of flying by us and we had to hold on to the, <laughs> hold on to the actual set so it didn't slide off. Three, two, one, action! On the Dark Knight, we shot in three different countries. For Inception, we shot in six countries. And I think we experienced all the different extremes from heavy rain to, to burning sun to incredible snowfall. We really wanted to try and test ourselves in terms of photographing things in real places. All of us as actors were constantly intrigued as to what we would see when we drove up on set because we'd go off into some different distant location and, and there would be this massive structure or we'd drive in the middle of, of, of Paris or Morocco and there would be an entire set decorated to sort of match his vision. So it was a constant state of surprise for all of us. Yeah. 